I am selfishly very excited to have Laura here because I am about to pick her brain on all things short form content. Yes, we're talking about reels, but really we're talking about short form content. So let's start from the beginning. Like if you were to work with a client on day one, yeah. who has no clue at all what they're doing, what would you do with that? I mean, your first point about people feeling like overwhelmed, angry, annoyed with Instagram, like I totally empathize, empathize with that because I get it. It's like we've been playing by one set of rules and all of a sudden we've had another like thing thrown at us. So I get that. But at the same time, I want people to be like, okay, it's frustrating. And now let's move on. And now let's make a strategy because sometimes it mm -hmm. does feel like people are bringing that energy into their content creation. And you can mm -hmm. tell when they're like making a video because they've been told they have to make a video. There's like no strategy. They're just fluffing. They're like, they're just ticking a box. There's no like energy behind it. So I empathize, but we have to move beyond that and like get into the meat of actually creating our content with purpose. Um, you know, the first thing we always go back to is like, what are your content pillars? Who are you trying to attract? Why are you trying to attract them? You want to make sure that your content is representative of your offers. So if I am selling, um, like you have naturopathic doctors in your audience. So if I'm selling yeah. hormone services where I'm helping you balance your hormones, I'm not going to do a real talking about like, you know, what I'm doing in the evening that has nothing to do with my product or service. You know what I mean? It has to tie back into that, but you also want to be building trust with your audience. So again, this is going back to those content pillars. And so often you can take that content strategy that you've developed for your static content and just translate it into reels. It doesn't have to be reinventing the wheel. You're not doing something completely different. It's just an extension of your existing content strategy in a new medium. And in a way, I find this new medium more liberating and actually quicker for creating content. So that's how I'm looking at my video strategy is it's an extension of what I'm already doing on social. Can you give me an example of content pillars or content themes? Because I think that's a, a hard concept mm -hmm. for people to wrap their minds around. They're like, well, other than educating on hormones, yeah. what else am I going to talk about? Absolutely. I mean, there's, if we're talking on that hormone example, we could talk about like why your hormones are important, like why it even matters that they need to be balanced. That's like going right back to the basics. You're going to the awareness stage where people might not even be aware. And, and this could be another example is like signs that your hormones are not balanced. What that looks like if for your skin, your body, how you feel like there's so many different examples you could take from that. Um, but it's, there's just so many options with your content. It's not just education, education, education in a way. Yes. But you could also tie it into relatable pain points. And this is where you're making those like meme worthy moments with your reels. And it's like, um, when you're on your seventh cup of coffee, because your hormones are unbalanced and you can't get through the day, like someone who is not balanced is going to see that reel and be like, Oh my goodness, she's in my head. Like, how does she know I'm on my seventh cup of coffee? And I'm like mm -hmm. dragging through this day. So there's mm -hmm. so many different ways you can have fun with it and you're still educating, but that's what I call edutainment because it's like education and it's entertaining because it's funny to see someone like struggling yeah. through their day with something that you have also struggled with. Yeah. You know what I just thought about yeah. um, as you were talking in order to create content pillars in order to be able to brainstorm those like funny meme moments, we even skipped a step. Oh yeah. Because if you don't have an ideal client, if you're not clear yes. on, you know, the problem that you're actually solving with your brand yeah. and your surfaces, of course, this is going to feel so daunting for you, yeah. right? Of course, it's going to feel, and I think that's the issue with a lot of my audience mm -hmm. who are naturopaths and practitioners and coaches yeah they aren't trained to only speak about one topic. Yes, totally. And so the issue is, is they're so like, one day I'm going to talk about this and one day I'm going to talk about that. And then their audience is so um, like random. Dispersed. Yeah, absolutely. This is something I do with my clients um, when we work one-on-one -on -one is we start from the beginning and we literally write down every single problem or pain point a client can have. And we work through awareness, interest, desire, action, and like what each of those steps look like. And I think it's hard because it's like, 
I I think it's called the curse of knowledge because it's like you, you get so (laughs) far into what it is that you're teaching that you forget what it's like to be at step one. Like you are this hormone expert. So you forget what it feels like to wake up and feel tired and not know why, you know what I mean? Like we, mm-hmm. we know too much almost. And I see that a lot, even with my clients is like, I have to remind myself like, oh yeah, like they don't even know what an ideal client avatar is yet because they, they're educated in a different field. So I get that. Absolutely. Yes. 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 So okay. Through that is so important. Yes. Yeah. So step one, we need to be able to have an ideal client. We need to be able to brainstorm every single thing in their lives that they experience specific to the pain point that you can help them solve. And then you can go into the content pillars and you just mentioned something and I don't want to skip over it. Awareness, interest, desire, and what else did you say? So getting them to take action and work with you.